What's going on? It's KP. I'm over here about the Cecil Condo downtown Atlanta, and I wanted to bring you guys along. I mean, the location is prime location. It's a very historical building. It's over 100 years old, and they just want to bring it up to a more 2021 feel, but still keep some of the characteristics of the turn of the century home that it is. It used to be an old hotel, but now it has been subdivided and created just a bunch of loss. The unit is behind me, so come on, let's go check it out. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe, click the link below, and follow us on YouTube. that are brick and the other two walls are painted and those are the walls with the cabinets on them. What we tend to do with this space is get rid of this huge pantry. I'll tell you why. The pantry is huge and there's no need for it when you have all this wall cabinet space as well as this base cabinet space. So we're going to nix that. Get, that. get that pantry out of here like it's four feet wide. Like why do you need a four foot wide pantry? in a kitchen is small I have no idea but what we're going to do we're going to paint these cabinets black we're going to leave the frosted glass but just paint the cabinets black give, give it a more contemporary feel of course we're going to change out these pendant lights they gotta go like, they were cool but not anymore we're not going to touch these brick walls I refuse to touch these brick walls. I mean, the seven foot windows are beautiful and allow in so much light that I just think we should paint the windows, all the trim, black. To tie it in with the cabinets, we're gonna get rid of this seating area, whatever this is, get rid of that, just put it on out of here. We're gonna repair these windows, like all the rust, and paint them black. So basically upstairs, all we're gonna do is paint the cabinets black, paint these two walls, get rid of the pantry, and change out those pendant lights. Now we're gonna to go to my favorite area, downstairs. Wait till you see this one. And over here in this area, is where the owners want to put a Murphy bed. A Murphy bed is just a bed that folds away and it'll be right in this corner out of the way because this is a studio space, meaning there's no walls subdividing the living area from the bedroom. And um, in this corner to, to my left, there will be a section right in front of the TV, which is a great location on the other side of the uh, bathroom. Over here will be a couple chairs, maybe a small table right here, pool table. So you can already see that this area will be for entertaining. And to my left is the closet. Pretty huge closet with some big windows. Like all of these windows will be trimmed in black paint, which will give it a more modern feel in this very turn of the century space. So I think it's gonna be a great look when we're done. And oh man, I don't even want to talk about this bathroom. Look. Come on now. Sea foam green towel. Orange walls. They must have went to fam you. <laughs> but uh yeah, we snatched it all this out. We're gonna put a shower, stand up shower here, change all the toilet and of course that pedestal sink got to come out so we can put a new landing in. 
just bring this thing up to to the standards of the rest of the property. Like, look at this space. It's beautiful. All right, guys. So now you see everything that we plan to do with this place. Can't wait to show it to you on the next video. So make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And um, until then, I'm KP, real estate guru. See you on the next one.